Hello and welcome to Simple Cryptocurrency News. My name is Claudio and this is CryptoChain, the channel where I do cryptocurrency news reviews, demos, interviews and blockchain games reviews. And in today's news video, we're going to be focusing on three important news articles from the cryptocurrency space, not cryptocurrency project updates. Unfortunately, not in this video. I will be doing a different video focusing on those updates rather than mixing it with cryptocurrency news. But before we do that, we're going to look at the state of the market. What's going on with the prices? As always on CoinMarketCap, Bitcoin is trading at $9,360 on average across all the different exchanges. It did have a mini pump yesterday to like 9,520 uh, on Binance. I was actually in front of the screen when it happened. Then it quickly retraced uh, to around 9,350, 9,320 and it played around that area. And as we can see, it's still sticking around that area. Now, Ethereum 189, let's have a look at NEO, $11.23, so holding quite well. Ontology 90 cents again holding quite well because the Bitcoin price is holding high as long as the Bitcoin price is holding high the rest of the alts are gonna hold high as well now we've got dragon coins as the biggest winners and stellar and I'm actually gonna be talking about stellar and the reason for this pump there is an actual legit reason for this pump and as you know stellar is a type of project that is well known in the space it has been on for quite some time now uh, so it is that type of project that you can actually trust. It doesn't mean that bad things can happen like I was saying in one of my beginner videos that I did. Uh, but it is one of the more trusted ones simply because of the liquidity. It's been a long, uh, around for a long time. Many people have heard about it. So yeah, the market cap is huge as you can see are 1.6 billion. So quite a lot. And the biggest losers are Chili's, Decred and iExec or LC. So let's get straight into the news and hey if this is your first time here please make sure to hit that subscribe button and enable notifications to make sure that you don't miss any of any video that i may upload that may interest you so let's see what is stellar doing what is the reason for the pump so stellar's foundation just destroyed half of the supply okay they had 100 billion now it's down to 50 billion still a whole lot but you got to keep in mind what the price used to be before right in 2017 so considering that is not too bad right but it is up quite a lot actually in the last 24 hours so do expect a correction be very careful if you're new to cryptocurrency don't jump in into these moments when it's pumping 20 percent wait for that red day if you're planning on getting in and again this is not financial advice it's just if you plan on investing in something like this make sure you don't do it when it's green when it's pumped so much like 20 percent that's quite a big pump in the last 24 hours right there's always some sort of retracement so uh, what are they saying now the stellar foundation has burned 55 billion of its xlm tokens over half the cryptocurrency supply now C ceo daniel dixon announced from the stage of the stellar meridian conference on monday Previous, there has been 105 billion in existence with 20 billion in circulation. And with this burn, the supply has shrunk to 50 billion. Again, the circulating supply is going to remain the same. So I think the pump is really because of that uh, potential upside to the fact that the supply has been reduced so much, like dramatically, considering 50 billion is a lot of coins. Uh, but there still is a lot in circulation as well. So that's quite a, quite a huge amount. But this did affect the price, as you can see. Now, they didn't want to start by wanting the burn, but they started by asking, what do we need? OK, so then they came to this conclusion that it is the best uh, because we're seeing a lot of these projects. Now, and I'm not talking certainly about the top projects, but also about the smaller ones. They're kind of finding this um, profitability in burning their token supply or their coin supply simply because people want less supply. And I think the problem is with these uh, tokens which inflate every year for various reasons be it to pay for developers be it for things like that i think some people are a bit bearish on those kind of coins especially with so many other coins now starting with this token burning process right uh, now so dixon told the room of the roughly 200 attendees as much as we wanted to use the lumens that we held it was very hard to get them into the market imagine what that would have done to the market a huge dump a huge dump it would have probably dragged the price quite a lot if they would have released even 5 billion if they would have released that much into circulation it would absolutely be disastrous for for stellar lumens so i'm sure if you're a stellar holder especially those holders out there are really delighted with the news they want some positive stuff for stellar lumens now the foundation controls 30 billion divided into several buckets it has 12 billion in the direct development fund 
called the Operations Fund to support the organization. The ecosystem support has two billion, uh, one billion remaining. Sorry, two billion remaining, one billion for currency support and one billion for infrastructure grants, and ten billion set aside to make investments. Okay, so they're looking into investing probably into other small projects, small companies, trying to get them onto Stellar, maybe just for the roadmap to grow bigger, to extend and so on. And I'm probably going to do a review on this channel at some point on Stellar Lumens, because like I said, I cover the top 100 crypto projects. You've seen a lot of them on my channel already, and you can find many of them at the end of this video as well. I'm going to be uh, linking some of the reviews that I've done, some of the more recent ones. Uh, and don't forget to check the playlist, by the way, I have a special playlists for blockchain games, for project reviews, for cryptocurrency news, and also the beginner tutorials. So do check out those and also tutorials in general, like demos of wallets and how to use an exchange and cer uh, certain things like that. So that may interest you as well. So under acquisition, the foundation has 6 billion XLM, 2 billion for marketing stellar and 4 billion for in-app promotions. So still quite a lot. I mean, we're talking huge numbers here, right? Which could still have an impact on the price, but nevertheless, it's better than having 105 billion uh, total supply. And let's move on and talk about the golden cross for Bitcoin. So this cryptocurrency trader, and he's not necessarily a crypto trader. He's also a Forex trader. I did check out his Twitter page, like they're going to be talking about in this news article. Uh, basically, he's predicting that based on historical data, historical analysis of what Bitcoin did back in 2016, 2017, the same thing is going to happen very, very soon. It's called the golden cross. And that could be a bullish sign for Bitcoin. It could um, signify that the price is going to pump. Now, will it really pump or will it dump? It's anyone's guess, right? But he does say based on his analysis and based on historical data, of course, because all these good TAs have to use historical data, uh, says that a golden cross is coming. And how do you know that a golden cross is coming? Well, let's have a look here. When the 100 week MA and the 50 week MA, which stands for moving averages, two important long term moving averages that often signal to investors that a trend has legs, right? When these two cross, so the golden cross is off the 100 week and the 50 week moving averages. Basically, these two moving averages cross, as we can see here in this tweet, and we'll actually go to his tweet here. So the red line and the, uh, I think it's green line, I'm not entirely sure here. I can't really see the color properly because. This graph is a bit uh, weird here, but basically, as you can see, they've crossed once, they've crossed again. Well, they're due to cross now, actually. Uh, so they crossed once here, they're due to cross again. What's really going to happen? Does it signify that the price is going to grow a lot more? Right? That's a good question. So I'm really curious to see what's going to happen. And uh, it's actually due to happen towards the end of 2019, start of 2020. That's when it's due to happen, as we can see here by this graph. It's hard to know exactly when, but it's not much longer, right? He didn't actually give us any dates here. Um, so yeah, the last time that a golden cross of the 100 week and 50 week moving averages happened was in mid 2016, just before the Bitcoin rally began to skyrocket and a bubble form. Back then, the price of Bitcoin was roughly $500 per Bitcoin. Imagine having that right now with so many people waiting on the side. I mean, that would absolutely destroy the olds, but a lot of people would be bullish on Bitcoin. They'd get right in and they wouldn't even wait. Like they wouldn't hesitate. Let's be honest, right? And... Um, yeah, that's when it uh, reached the all-time high of close to $20,000 at its peak. It's incredible to think that even a $500 investment could turn into $20,000, but that's the power of Bitcoin. No other asset has ever performed as strongly and offered such enormous life-changing returns for investors. The entire move represents a 3,900% return on investment, a number that's unheard of in other asset classes over an entire lifetime of an investment, let alone the year or two it took Bitcoin to reach such astronomical returns. So I think that's why a lot of the investors are actually scared. They're also scared because they're worried that if something can grow so much in one year, how likely is it that it's going to dump the same in one year, right? So they're afraid of losing their money. And I'm talking about big investors, right? But now they're seeing the potential. They saw that bottom was around 3K. They saw that the um, sentiment is bullish. We've seen almost 14K right recently right around uh, around when was that i think it was june uh june 2019 so 
you know, I mean, it's it's very likely that it's it could just go back up to over 20k very soon. I mean, if this golden cross is as bullish as this trader says, then it's likely it will. And and actually to check out about this trader here, he's got 61,000 followers on Twitter, and apparently he's a crypto and forex trader, chemical technology engineer. Uh, he got interested in Bitcoin in October 2013. First true BIRB on crypto. He's the founder of BIRB Nest, Burb Nest, uh, and not financial advice. <laughs> this guy's website here. So he seems to be some person that has some knowledge. He's got a bit following, so people must believe what he's doing. He's probably doing TA on a regular basis, or maybe just has a huge following from his Forex days as well. Uh, but let's move on and talk a little bit more about Bitcoin. So I've got this other piece of news here, newsweek.com. Mysterious Bitcoin player manipulated cryptocurrency to historic 326 billion market value. That's what the study claims. And I'm a bit suspicious of this because, okay, maybe they did some analysis. They haven't shown us the addresses to actually prove that this actually happened. Uh, but there is a short video here. So I haven't actually watched this video, but they're saying here that they have done some analysis on the addresses basically on Bitfinex and uh, they could see that uh, one person or a small group of individuals were moving in between Tether and Bitcoin and buying the dips and buying like large amounts using Tether and they were checking they were comparing the Bitcoin blockchain with the Tether blockchain and they saw these enormous movements so they think that it could be either an insider from Bitfinex or simply Bitfinex themselves a group of people from Bitfinex or maybe some rich person who Bitfinex knew about and obviously they didn't want to disclose information on them because they do KYC on Bitfinex when you're trading large amounts. If you want to withdraw large amounts, you need to have your documents uploaded. So they obviously know who this person is. Uh, but um, yeah, I mean, it's if you read this article, and again, this is going to be in the description below the video. Let me know what you think. Drop me a comment below. I'm curious to get your input on this. But I find it a bit suspicious. I think it was just really the hype. I mean, possibly one person might have manipulated it. And then the rest of the people just jumped in when they saw the price rise. And then they pumped it even more. So it could be that. It's not necessarily that only one person has brought it to 20k. But maybe he's helped with the push. Uh, this is my personal opinion on it. But it could be, could be anything, right? I just find it weird because so many people could buy Bitcoin at the time. And when you think about the masses that uh, got in even people that now are like i don't want to touch cryptocurrency they even got in at some point as well and uh, yeah i mean it just found out a bit suspicious to be honest that one person he could have helped to pump the price a bit but i don't believe that he was the one person or the small group of people that got it to 20k although it is possible if you're a multi-millionaire uh, you can actually control this market pretty easily so yeah that was pretty much from uh, today's video let me know what you think Drop me a comment below. Like I said, don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.